Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for T's. We have been solving T's math problems out of this book here, the T's Official Study Manual, 2021. If you do not own this book already, but just one immediately, you're going to need it. Today, we'll solve the practice problems that are given to us on page numbers 164, which is a continuation of the topic that we have been dealing with for two days, yesterday and the day before yesterday. We're having to do with rounding and estimation. So let's do the practice problem that you see on page number 164. Always make sure the book is in front of you so that it makes it easier for you to follow the work. The very first problem, as you can see on the blackboard, is already there. It simply says, estimate this quantity. An estimate means exactly what it says. It doesn't require precision, which is why it's called estimation. So let's do this, shall we? 346.8, we can round that. Again, we're rounding it, so this is an approximation. The result that we're going to get is not the exact value of this thing. It's going to be an approximation. 346.8, let's round that to 350. Then we have 5.231, let's just say about 5. And at the bottom we have 49.6, that's about 50. Let's divide top and bottom by 10. If we divide top and bottom by 10, the zero is going to drop out. Let's try, uh, do, uh, divide top and bottom by, let's divide top and bottom by 5 again. So let's do it in different colors so you can see the next step separately. Let's divide top and bottom by 5. And this 5 is going to drop out. And we're left with 35. So the approximate value of this quantity is 35. That's the estimation. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. And as you can see, I labeled it as 1a, even though in the book there is no such thing as 1a, I labeled it as 1a, because we're going to do one more, which, believe it or not, I'm about to label as, I'm about to label it as 1b. Shocking. 1 B. Let's do the next one. This next one that we're doing actually is coming from the next one that we're about to do appeared appeared in the fifth edition of the T's that was published in 2012 right here. On, the, on my channel you will find the solutions to all the problems that appeared in this book 2012. Just, just search for just search for Kishwani T is 5, day 1, and we'll pop right up. There are 80 videos in the event that you want to get some more practice. Let's see what it says. 1B. It says 418.7 times 4.87 4 over 52.3. Why don't you do it yourself? Pause the video. Pause the video and do it yourself and see what you come up with. Again, again, it's not a big deal. We're not looking for precision, we're looking for approximation. And approximation is exactly what we're going to do. Let's approximate, let's, let's approximate this quantity. 418.7 that's 420 4.8876 let's approximate that is 5 and 52.3 let's just approximate that is 50 the whole idea of approximation the whole idea of approximation is to make the calculation as fast as possible you don't want to sit here and write 52 for 52.3 and you don't want to write that well that actually would be rounded to 5 that's the whole point. You you want to make it fast. Let's divide top and bottom by let's divide top and bottom by zero, or rather, let's divide top and bottom by ten. So this zero drops out. If we divide top and bottom by ten, and let's divide the next step, let's divide top and bottom by five. There you go, we are done. The answer to this quantity is forty-two. This quantity is approximately equal to forty-two. And that's all there is. That's all there is. Let's do one more.
and this time we'll do a problem that you do actually see in front of you problem number five there are five problems on this page we did problem number one let's let's move on to five because it's a, it relates to the same topic it says 873.5 times 404.72 over 59.6 Again, you do it yourself first, pause the video, do it yourself, I'll give you a second for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Let's do it again, shall we? 873.5, 873.5, let's just approximate it as 900. 4.72, I'll just say it's 5. And 59.6, obviously, it's approximately 60. And that's all there is. Let's divide top and bottom by let's divide top and bottom by ten. If we divide top and bottom by ten, this zero is going to drop out. And then let's divide top and bottom by two. Six is a multiple of two. Nine is a multiple of two. Six divided by two becomes three. And nine has four twos. Four twos are eight. After we take away eight from the nine, we have a remainder of one. One goes and joins a zero becomes a ten. And ten has five twos which was my very roundabout way of saying when you divide 90 by 2 you get 45. Let's go one more round shall we? Let's divide top and bottom by 3. 3 is going to go away. 4 has 1 3. After we take away 3 from the 4 we have a remainder of 1. That one goes and joins the 5 and it becomes a 15. And 15 has 5 3's. Again that was my roundabout way of saying 45 divided by 3 is 15. 15 times 3 is 45. Very good we are done. So the final answer is, it is 15 times 5, which means this quantity, when we round it, estimate it, <coughs> when we estimate it, is approximately 75. The approximate value of this quantity is 75. So that was problem number 5. We have already done problem number 1. Problem number 2 that you see there, we'll do tomorrow because it involves it's a little bit more involved we're going to skip the problem number two for the time being we'll do it in the next video let's go to problem number three problem number three says which metric unit best represents the length of a paper clip we're looking for length of a paper clip and answer choice D says milliliter. C says liter. Both answer choice C and D in this context when we're talking about how do we go about uh, approximating the value or rather which metric unit best represents the length of a clip. So if you want to represent the length of a clip you better have a unit that is a measure of length both milliliters and liters are used to measure liquids they are used to measure liquids milliliter and liters are no good because they are too liquid because they are too liquid they are used for liquid you cannot use it for solid let's look at answer choice what I meant to say is that we can't use it we cannot use this unit to measure length, they are used to measure liquid. Answer choice C says, li uh, answer choice A says, meter. Let's talk about meter, shall we? I'm going to raise this thing and we'll talk about meter. Do you have any approximate idea as to how long a meter is? Because I know you're used to using yards and feet in the US. How long is approximately a meter? Do you have any idea? We know, we know a yard, we know a yard is made up of 3 feet, which is made up of 2 times 12 inches, which is 36 inches. We know that a yard is a 36 inch. A meter happens to be about 39 inches, which means a meter is just a little bit more than a yard. A little bit more than a yard. 
just a little bit more than one yard or to be more precise about three inches more than a yard. If you have a yard and if you add one, if you add three more inches to it, you will have 39 inches and that's your meter. The question is, is that, it says which, which metric unit best represents the length of a paper clip. Have you ever come across a paper clip a length of a yard, more than a yard? Of course not, it's silly. We cannot use meter to represent the length of a clip. It's silly. The correct answer here is, the correct answer here is, this is wrong. The correct answer is, we need to use millimeter. We need to use millimeter, which is which is one thousandth of a meter. Another way of looking at this thing is another way to think of this as why millimeter might be a better better representation of a length of a pepper clip is to think of this in, in, in the following way. What this means is that if you were to line up, if you were to line up 1,000 pepper clips, two, three, four, five, six, if you were to line up 1,000 pepper clips, what we're claiming is that if you line up 1,000 pepper clips one after the other, that's going to be approximately a yard or approximately a meter. Now that I can buy, that I can believe, that if you were to put one pepper clip next after the other in a straight line, 1,000 of them. It'll be about a yard long, about a meter long, about 39 inches long. So the answer is yes, we can use milliliter, a millimeter rather. We can use millimeter to uh, as a representation of the length of a pepper clip. We cannot use meter because meter is too long. We cannot use milliliter or liter because it's too liquid. Let's do the next one. So that was problem number three. Problem number four. Problem number four says, which household object is best approximated by kilogram? In other words, which of the following four choices that they give us, which they refer to as household object, when you want to measure its weight, an appropriate unit would be kilogram. And the first one says, answer choice D says, a tablet, a tablet of I don't know how to pronounce the bloody thing. Ibuprofen. I don't know how to pronounce it. But apparently it's a medicine that one takes to take care of one's headache. Like Advil or aspirin. I cannot recall last time I took a tablet that weighed one kilogram. So one kilogram that we're looking at is more than two pounds. It's 2.2 .2 pounds. That will be a one bloody large huge tablet. A silly. A tablet cannot weigh that much. A tablet, the weight of a tablet is measured in milligram, not even gram. Forget about kilogram. Next one says a piece of paper. We're not going to use a unit of kilogram to measure a piece of paper. A piece of paper is usually measured by length and width. And even if you talk about its weight, it's not going to be in the kilogram. It's silly. Answer choice B says, spilled water. Even if you, even if you manage to Collect the water that you spilled on the on the ground, collect it again, and somehow 
and measure how much to see how much you spilled it is liquid. It's just probably why you spilled it. Very difficult to spill a solid thing. It's liquid. And if it's liquid, it's going to be measured either in milliliter or liter. It's not going to be measured in kilogram. Kilogram is for weight. Liquids are measured in milliliter and liter. They're not measured in, in kilogram. The reason the reason why I'm being so dramatic and the reason why I started from the back from 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 answer choice D backwards and the reason why I wrote why I wrote down this word in capital letter in such a big way is because according to the genius who wrote this problem for T's, I'm sure they hired a genius because geniuses is all they hire. According to this genius who wrote this particular question, according to that person, a pat rabbit, a pat rabbit, which I did not know until now, is apparently an object. It is not an object, it's a living thing. It's a living thing, it's a living, breathing thing, it's not a bloody object. But yes, you would measure the weight of a, what a rabbit in terms of kilogram. So, answer is A. We'll do problem number two that we have not done right now, tomorrow, by itself. Alright? I'll see you tomorrow. If you wish to get hold of me, you can reach me by sending me an email at kishwaniprep at icloud.com. Okay? Bye now.